It is so freaking cold outside. I think I can see my breath. I am in a hailstorm right now. Why is it white? It's October! never meant to be a winter vehicle last night it got down to maybe like 41. once I like started making tea and had things cooking it warmed up in here even though I am from Russia and I grew up in Minnesota the coldest place in America my body just doesn't do well in the cold my fingers get numb my feet get numb I have a tropical Russian and I just want to see like how long I'll be able to last out here I found this thing at an antique store just now and I think it'll fit perfectly in here but there's a support beam that's kind of in the way so I'm gonna like try and see if I can unscrew it if it works it's gonna look so good oh yeah we freaking nailed this thing to that beam Anyways, I am in Boone, North Carolina, and I'm headed towards Virginia today. so freaking cold outside. Maybe you can see my breath. I am in a hailstorm right now. What is that white stuff? No! Why is it white? It's October! Michigan plates. So this ain't nothing new to 
Grandpa Pearl either. You got this, girl. We are on a mountain. Apparently my roof is leaking. I have a big decision to make. My original plan was to drive to Wisconsin and then leave my van there until springtime and go back to Costa Rica for the winter. But I don't know how enjoyable this trip is going to be now that it is clearly icing and snowing. I could just go back to Florida and leave my van in Florida for the winter. I don't know what to do! I do really like the mountains. You know what, I'm going to go to a coffee shop and like warm up, weigh the pros and cons, and make a decision. All I can think about right now is that there might be a mouse in my van. Ooh, I'm starting to see some blue sky over there. Okay, so I made it to this little historic looking town. It's cute, I guess. It's just cold. I don't know if it's like the cold triggering this in me, but I have like a lot of anger towards America right now. I don't know why. I don't know where it comes from. Why did I choose this life? When it was nice out, I was like, Oh my god, I love it here! North Carolina is so amazing! How do I get that person back? Maybe I just need food. Maybe I just need coffee. So, I am no longer going to Wisconsin because screw that! This entire day I've just been like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I've written a pros and cons list. Pros list of going back to Florida is longer. I called all my best friends. If I really listen to my heart, my heart is telling me that I need to be on the beach with coconuts. And I really wanted to see the Outer Banks. I just don't like the North. I am a Southern girl now. This town is pretty cute, Marion. I would come back here, maybe. It looks like a Christmas movie. I feel like all of the towns here look like a holiday movie. Probably because they're all filmed in like these small little towns. Good morning world. It looks as though I just fried these eggs and then wiped the greasy spatula onto my hair. I don't have a gym nearby to take a shower, so I'm gonna make some dry shampoo. Out of cornstarch, baking soda, essential oils, salt shaker. Fill half of the salt shaker with cornstarch. I'm just gonna make a quick little tiny scooper out of this tin foil. The other half with baking soda. And then a few drops of your favorite essential oils. Lavender, rose, bergamot. Put some tape on it. it smells really good. Let's go outside and test it out. Now I can go another three weeks without taking a shower. I just realized that like the majority of my van life experience has been just me cooking food in different places. <laughs> That's kind of been my way of coping with being alone and being in the unknown. If I have a kitchen, I'm happy. Rice and beans with onion and bell peppers with goat cheese of course i left my beans on the dashboard that's my refrigerator also i got this hot glue gun so that i could hot glue this curtain rod in place because it kept slipping out of the thing and also my shelf i really should like nail this in or screw it in but for now it's gonna be glued this is also my first time owning a hot glue gun and it's literally the best thing ever I hope that works. Oh my god, I just realized that I left my freaking battery charging. I'm so glad that my van started just now. I've done that before and my van didn't start. I'm pretty sure that's like really hard on the alternator. Oi, yo, yo, mamachki. I need to be really careful with that. Anyways, so I think I was being kind of dramatic last night by driving two and a half hours east. I kind of miss the mountains and this week is supposed to look really nice. So I am gonna go an hour north of here to Roanoke. North of that, there's like a bunch of mountains and stuff, I think. Note to self, don't make decisions when you're cold and tired and hungry. Eat something and wait till morning.
back on Blue Ridge Parkway. I see a couple guys like sitting out on this lookout point. They have like hiking backpacks and stuff. They might be hiking the Appalachian Trail. I kind of want to ask. A few moments later. These are my new friends. Hello. <laughs> my name's Phil and I'm from Minnesota, northern Minnesota, way up north where it's just bloody cold right now. My name is John. I'm a helicopter pilot and I'm from Minnesota, but I moved down here for a job. What are the chances that I meet people from Minnesota on my failed journey to Minnesota? <laughs> and we're just having a little charcuterie board. It's gourmet. My stove is fixed. Stove is this fixed. This is the best day ever. I was trying to manifest that. I was just chilling there at the overlook and then they had approached me and asked me if I could give them a ride. I made them tea and coffee and a charcuterie board. And then they ended up giving me 40 bucks. They fixed my stove. They checked all the fluids in my van, filled her up with oil for me. The handle on one of my drawers in the back actually just broke off today and they fixed it. They're setting up their tent and making a fire. And so I'm just gonna join them. I think I was alone for like maybe two days and now I already have some friends. <laughs> From freaking Minnesota, what are the chances of that? That is really weird. Is that a sign that I'm supposed to actually make it to Minnesota? I'm still not sold on it. Here's the campground. They're hanging up their bear rope or something. All right, let's see what I chefed up today for my new friends. A gourmet breakfast. We have eggs, <laughs> we have goat cheese, have fried potatoes, and bell peppers. This is the most gourmet experience of my camping life. Yeah. Ever. <laughs> today I will be joining Phil and John for a trail. Sharp Top Trail. Wow, that shit's like straight up. I can't breathe right now. It's always worth the pain. more spiritual like the last five years since I started traveling the way that I do just because magical things happen to me all the time things that seem like miracles it happens all the time it can't just be coincidence I guess I don't like to call it God or anything maybe because Christianity has kind of like ruined it for me I like to call it like a collective consciousness kind of like an ant colony I think that if you live your life through the heart chakra do everything that you do with love good things just come to you i don't think that heaven is like a place that you necessarily go to after you die i think heaven on earth and maybe you get reincarnated i don't know but i think people have ruined it for me in the past people would do all these good things and flaunt their goodness and at the end of the day they just wanted to elevate themselves above everyone else but then i understood that creator just wanted me to do things that were good just because that could be who I am or it could be just out of the motivation to love you. How can I treat people kindly? How can I be a better human? How can I grow? How can I be something that is better for the world instead of the trash? I think that every action has a reaction so like when you put positivity out there and do nice things for people even if you spend your whole life doing really good things for somebody but you don't ever get anything in return. I think that the return comes later from other things and from other people. It will come back to you. It always does. It's time to say goodbye to my new friends. Farewell for now. <laughs> Bye.
spot for two whole days now just chilling playing guitar making food eating food looking at the view running around in the grass watching the sunrise now i think i'm gonna check out the local grocery store around here all right that's the local grocery store well they didn't have anything that i needed so i'm probably gonna have to get out of this small town i'm trying to get to the outer banks soon here like by this weekend. It's Thursday already. Aye, but I really don't want to leave the mountains yet. I love it out here. Alright, so I really badly need a shower and I can hear some water running in this river over here. Or maybe that's a drainage ditch. Hopefully there's no sewage in there. And I hope this church don't mind that I park right here. Oh my god, I see a raccoon. Oh god, he's getting closer to me. Well, I guess I'm bathing with the raccoon. Wow, the lady at the post office was so freaking nice. She told me about these wild horses that are in the Outer Banks. So I'm gonna try and find them. Yeah. 